Total says top five, but there might be more than five. But I'm just going to go over the most common problems that I come across on washing machines. So, there's three things that you can see here at the top. They are all common failures. Solenoids for your inlet. I've got a video on how to test them somewhere. You've got this EMI, this is an electromagnetic interference filter. They can go open circuit or they can go closed circuit. So the closed circuit, they'll be tripping your washing machine. If they go open circuit, obviously you ain't gonna have no power to the machine. Then you've got a pressure switch, which is basically an on and off switch. When the pressure in the tub builds up, it makes a connection. When it goes down, it connection goes. We've got a video on how to test them. So that's three major main problems. The third one is your door lock. You can, you have to take the seal off for that. I'm not going to do that obviously today because that's a lot of hard work, but the door lock is a common problem on washing machines. Then you've got your motor, motor brushes or your belt could come loose. That's another major failure with these. And then you've got your drain pump. On this one, it's hard to see, but your drain pump is there. I've got a video on how to test them, if you want to have a look. So that's it really, they're the main common problems. Obviously, your circuit, you, if you test all your other components and they're good, you want to start looking at your board. First check to see if there's a fuse on there, but this one hasn't got a fuse, so. And that is about all I can think of. So your brushes on your motor, your filter, oh yeah, your filter could be blocked on your drainage pump, there'll be an access point to clean that out, so you might want to have a look at that as well.